today? Yeah, you know, just uh, day two. So uh, really excited for our team. Just a uh, lot of good energy. I like that a lot. Um, some good uh, intensity back and forth offense versus defense, uh, which is what you want to see. Um, you know, I thought, you know, as far as from a ball security perspective, it's kind of something you kind of make a big deal about on both sides of the ball. Um, defense is trying to get takeaways. has had a hard time getting them. Offense has made some, you know, some good progress with that. I thought we caught the ball a lot better today than we did yesterday. It was a little rusty yesterday. But it was neat yesterday in the first practice. You could just see every rep, every session, the offense kept getting better and better, more comfortable uh, with what we're doing. And then I thought today they did a lot of really good things. Uh, complete a lot of balls and uh, take care of the football. And got some big plays down the field, which you want to see. And we don't have any pads on yet, so it's a lot. It's really hard to tell uh, in some of the things. But uh, a lot of guys have gained a lot of good weight. And see, it's good to see them out here moving around. And I thought the team speed seems to be improved. And uh, that's uh, kind of something you just kind of visually, perception to look at and think uh, you see a difference. And so I like that. And then uh, just get a lot of good fundamental work. So uh, that's going to continue throughout spring ball. So I thought it was a very good start and I uh, love the energy. Has anything felt different or, or been different now that you've kind of you've given up some of those coordinators? Yeah, in defense well, there's, you know, one big thing is, yeah, one big thing for me is I'm able to be made way more involved in recruiting. And so we've had a lot of young men on, on our campus here the last two days, uh, some really important guys uh, from uh, uh, the Midwest area. And uh, so I've been able to spend a lot more time with them than I have in the past just because when I'm out here, I'm not calling things like I have so that's I think a, a big difference for sure and then also I think just in regards to being able to um, oversee everything better uh, spend more time on offense spend time on offensive meetings uh, which I really haven't done much of in the past and so um, I like that and uh, be able to kind of just get my personality there in regards to more mindset uh, and anything and intensity of boy we do what we do and accountability for our guys um, I want to do a great job of that as the head coach so that definitely feels quite a bit different than it has in the past and and I think the defense is doing a lot of good things you know so I still feel very comfortable with with uh, the job that those guys are doing very confident in, in all of them it's only been two days but what are your impressions of how Kane leads the defense does a really good job of a uh, very clear direction of what we want um, and I think you know, we made some, some, some some minor adjustments but the energy I love that, that, that that's something obviously, you know, I brought here when I came here and, and, and want that. And he understands that and has kind of his own ways of doing some things, do it a little bit differently in terms of how you how you motivate the guys uh, to get the takeaways and the, to, to, the, your effort that you're playing with. And the, the, uh, uh, but the coaches, you know, they're, they're, they play a huge role in that. So I think he's done a really good job. But like you said, it's very early. It's hard to really tell on some of those things. But but uh, I feel very, you know, zero concerns about, you know, what we're doing. You know, I'm so involved with that. I still feel like, you know, um, is just me, you know, telling them what, what the call they're going to make. That's the only thing I feel a little different as because it's still it's our same defense, you know. So, and they're really flying around. And, and uh, I think the speed in our back end shows up quite a bit. And it's, you know, all that's just maturity and confidence. And, and uh, just uh, I think we got a, a chance to be a pretty good defense. Talk about team speed. Watching the first two games, the thing that stood out for me is how fast your secondary and how athletic it seemed to be. And then obviously mm -hmm. you've added more. But is that kind of what you've seen too? Absolutely. Really quiet, getting to the ball. And yeah. And I think part of it is, is confidence because they're a year older. We played some of the young guys. But, but there, there's some really fast guys there, you know. And, and then. You know, when you do, you know, understand your role better, and uh, you know, we're not necessarily making a lot of ma major changes, so they they have a pretty good foundation, you know. But but there's some fast guys, and we've made some you know adjustments and some to get some guys spread out a little bit, getting Cam back in the, the back end, higher up, and so he's not playing behind Marcelino the Ball, you know. And so yeah, I, I've been encouraged by that, and I think Noah Pierre's one that's kind of stuck out to me. You know, as a guy that really is flash, Juan Burgess is really flash speed wise, and Fitzy looks faster, and just. I can go on and on, but it's a, there's no question that that's the part that sticks out the most to me is the speed of our secondary. So, we used to hear those guys play a lot of different positions on, on the field, even just like, I, uh, like you here. Today he was up against Nick Westbrook and Donovan Hale, you guys are definitely a lot bigger than he is. What do you see from him? Wow. He's got great feet, uh, great quickness, uh, really good you know, football IQ. Um, try to get him, you know, solidified in one area where you just get really good at it, you know, and that's our objective for spring for him. And, and uh, um, you know, hey, he didn't back down to those guys. You know, they're big old guys that uh, we know are proven to be really good receivers in the Big Ten. So, um, you know, another just one of the many guys in the secondary we have that are very athletic and 
and uh, move extremely well. And it's just a matter of just getting the technique. But I, we've really emphasized some of our techniques that we're playing in our coverages more. And uh, I've already kind of feel like we've seen some benefits of that emphasis. You know, it's tough without pads, but as far as the D-line, kind of noticed Juan Harris. I mm -hmm. you know he's a big guy. He's always a good thing, but he's yeah. like moving pretty well. Yeah, he's, he's about as good a shape as you maybe he's been in since you guys, even a couple of years yeah. ago. There's no question it's the best shape he's been in since I've been around him here at Indiana, you know, with both times being here. So um, she's trimmed himself down and uh, works extremely hard. And uh, he is a, a very big human being. And so very difficult to block. Um, and uh, by getting his body in, in, in shape to where he can, can play consecutive plays and give us a really good look at it. You can't tell much without pads on, but but I do know you can tell enough. You know, And we knew that's who he was because he's been here before. But, but at the same time, just a kind of a whole different mindset for him this time around. So um, just showing growth and maturity. He's got to keep getting better all the time. And uh, um, been encouraged by his growth.